box cars on the bus. <laughs> Wearing a yellow and gray sweater. Targeting me as I come onto the bus. Yeah, <laughs> looking at me and, and looking at the stop. Like, you know, as it turned red. Looking at me and looking at the stop light. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yep, yeah. A lot of grays today in my targeting. Okay. A lot of grays today. Just look at you standing up there. Anyhow. Yep. So like I said, you know, they didn't want me to do it. I did a video earlier today. I got to upload it, but, um, you know, it was a Facebook Live, but I also recorded it. So it's on my Facebook page. And uh, when I get home, I'm going to upload it. It's on my computer at home, so... I didn't have time to upload it today because I had to go pick up Alyssa. So I had to, you know, leave and, you know, so I said I'll do that when I get home today. And they know that. They know I'm going to upload it. This is, again, this is why, you know, the past couple of days they've been sending me some little message about not uh, uh, stealing my computer because they don't want me to do videos on my computer, on my desktop, because, again, of the 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 format which I do these uh, videos in um, you know again because I'm showing you guys sources of information and that they don't like and I, and I show you guys exactly what's going on not just as a TI and us being targeted as a TI but me as a black person as a black man and what's going on and how we're targeted also okay black men so like I always say, whenever, uh, you know, the oppressor leave with the oppressor, you know, is a, is a book. And it's called, uh, I actually have it in my bag. Um, uh, is not coming. I started reading it, but, you know, you got to, it's like uh, a book that you, it, you know, it has like work. Um, uh you know, uh, you know, you got to do work, analyze how you've been conditioned to accept certain things. So, let me turn it around, right? So, analyze how, analyze yourself in terms of how you're understanding how you're conditioned. Okay. Um, here's the book. Here's the book. It's called uh, "Addicted to White." The Oppressing League with the Oppressor, Shame-Based Alliance by Jerome E. Fox, Ph.D. A serious workbook for Africans who wish to overcome. And that as a black person, that I continue to deprogram myself, even though I already kicked the white supremacist out of my mind, so he no longer resides there, okay? But because we are constantly being programmed, Also, as a TI, you know, with black people targeting me, you know, some, some of us will, who are black, you know, will hate on each other, hate the people, the black people that are targeting us, even though we are black ourselves. So I always say, listen, I, I don't, I hate whoever hates me. So if you're black, white, whatever you are, if you hate me, then I hate you because you're not going to get no love out of me if you hate me. If you love me, I love you back. If you're kind to me, I'll be kind to you back. You know what I'm saying? If you treat me with respect, I, I'll give you the respect back. But if you're operating in this psychological operation, okay, that is an act of terror and an act of war on me as a, as a person, on my sovereignty. And so you're going to get the same response back, all right? So understand that. So if you're physically, uh, uh, if you're physical with me, I'm going to be physical with you. If you operate on a psychological level, I'm going to operate on that level with you also. Okay. And so, you know, that's that's what I say. 
You know, I don't, I don't hate everybody. I just hate the people that hate me. And that's the attitude that we have to have as TIs. And as a black person, that's the attitude that we as black people have to have. We cannot love people that hate us. We cannot love people who abuse us. Okay? Regardless of whether they have a, a gun and a badge. All right? Because they have us in this fear-based condition, and that's why they kill us. And we don't understand that, you know, it's a reason why they do it. Okay? And some of them, they're not going to get away with it, and they understand that. They understand that. But that is the risk that they will take, right, for their cause. Okay? Which is to prevent black people from gaining any sort of economic uh, independence, any sort of political power, serious political power, all right? And to, to, to prevent us from finding out the truth, okay? They will terrorize us as a people, all right? So until we, 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 we fight back, we stand up, until we show that we are not afraid, okay, then things are not going to change. Until we do those things, until we get rid of religion, the European religion, or any religion that was born out of and for the purpose of control, enslavement, okay, abuse. Particularly if your savior don't look like you, you know. Like I said, I don't understand how it is like. You know, I mean, I, I do actually because I was heavy as it, so you know I do understand. But you know, we gotta come out of that shit. Cause it's serving us no good. You know, maybe it served our ancestors. You know. Uh, you know, decades ago. But, you know, in actuality, it didn't really serve us, you know. It is the, you see, you know, particularly with Martin Luther King Jr., who is a, a minister. And this is why he is so, this is why um, we are allowed to celebrate him. And I do say we are allowed to celebrate him, <laughs> okay, as opposed to Malcolm X, as, as opposed to um, uh, Dr. Khalid Muhammad, right? Okay, but just remember the Civil Rights Act that passed. It wasn't. It wasn't strictly because of the Civil Rights Movement, but it was also because of white supremacists, particularly in white corporate America, right? Particularly in uh, the, the APA, the think tanks, the psychologists, the psychiatrists, they created a way in which when they integrate black people. We would be totally dependent on every aspect of the white supremacist system. That we will not be allowed to gain as a people and as a group economic independence, educational independence. Okay? And so you didn't think they gave us, they didn't pass the Civil Rights Bill just because of, you know, the civil rights movement, right? I hope you don't think that. There's always a plan when it comes to certain groups of people, certain groups of people dealing with us as black people to prevent us so they can always have us under their thumb, under their views, under their control. All right? Understand that. And as TIs, we suffer the same fate. I shouldn't say fate, but we suffer the same circumstance. Okay? So, yes. This conversation may be uncomfortable for a lot of people, but it's a conversation that you need to have when you keep speaking it until you're comfortable hearing it and you don't feel attacked because I'm not attacking you. As a black person, and that, you know, you should understand if you're non-black, you, you should know, okay, <laughs> the plight of black people in this country and around the world. You should know that. 
you should know the the the, the, the powers that be at hand that are controlling the pieces that are causing conflict right you should know that you should know that you know when they when, when mass killing takes place right that it is a stage and planned event and law enforcement are fully aware that it's going to happen they are fully aware okay the majority of white police officers in America are racist Half of white police in America belong to, uh, you know, racist groups like the KKK and other uh, NYPD. I guess they waited to turn. They're gonna turn and drive slow. They're gonna look at me, or they're gonna show themselves. Look at that white turn he did. Look at that white turn he did. Yeah. <laughs> look at that white turn he did. Just so you can drive close. Yeah. Anyway, so. You know, we, we, we gotta we have to understand that. We have to understand that. And like I said, uh, you know, I, and I tell people all the time, you know, I, in the past I've had uh, white friends who told me the truth. White coworkers who told me the truth. Very few of them. Two, I would say two. You know, but they told me the truth. One, you can blame time. He's like, you know, in this business, you know, it's like these white people are racist. He told me this. Early on, you know what I'm saying? I was uh, still in college, okay? Because he saw the way that they were treating me, he didn't like it. But like I said, they're, they're too few. And I always give that uh, story with Muhammad Ali. And Muhammad Ali, when he would ask, uh, so Muhammad Ali, do you think that all white people are racist? He was like, no, I'm not saying all. But there's too few of you who are not. And what are you going to do? How are you going to protect me? He said, if, he said, if 10,000 snakes was heading towards me, and out of 10,000, 1,000 other snakes said, hold on, wait, this is wrong, this is not right, and we're going to protect. What, what is this one, th what these 1,000 snakes are going to do against the other 9,000 who's coming again? And that's what we got to look at. Okay? There's just not enough. All right.